So in, in truth, uh, I I am not so excited, and I know that a lot of Nigerians are not excited about quote and unquote some of the dividends of democracy that was handed over to us by this president. I'm not sure so many Nigerians are very excited. Um, we heard a speech today from the president and we heard all of the rhetorics, you know, around how that the intentions of this president, you know, they are good for Nigerians and all that. Some really but first off, I would like that because today is Democracy Day, I would like to explain to as many people as are listening and watching this live, you know, telecast, what essentially democracy is. You know, you cannot say that you have made Afang soup without necessarily having the Afang leave. And from Delta State, before you say you are making Banga soup, you ought to have what we call a maybe. You ought to have Banga itself crushed. That's what will tell that indeed the soup that you made or that you are making is Banga soup. Democracy has certain constituents, things that must be present, some condiments, if you may, that must be present in it before it can be so-called. A lot of people have defined democracy and some will tell you democracy is this, democracy is that. But simply put, democracy is a government that essentially sits on the shoulders of the people. The people essentially said to themselves that and give to themselves that government until the people have given legitimacy to a government and to or to an individual, you cannot say that that government is operating democratically. That's the first thing. That government, therefore, takes legitimacy to operate from the people, one, and must be only serving the interests of the people. So at every time there is a clash between the interests of the people and the establishment or the interest of the people and the individual that sits as the head of that government and that individual follows and pursues his own interest, you cannot say that that's a democratic government. Let me break it down. If the people want to wash in kafa, that's what they want to eat. And you can establish that the people all want to, or a majority of them, because government is about majority, a majority of them want to eat to wash in kafa. You cannot say that because you are a doctor, you are the one who understands the, the anatomy of food, the biochemistry of food, the physiology of food, that two shinkafa will give them cancer. Therefore, I think I will recommend bitterly soup for them. No! The people want two shinkafa and they elected you. Therefore, if it's a democracy, you must either attempt at convincing the people to go for bitterly soup or you give them to Oshin Kafa. I've gone all this way to say that this government came in and said to us that they are democratic. Yet the first major policy, the first declaration made by them was anti-people. By my own reckoning, totally anti-people. The people are saying, we want subsidy. We want subsidy again. We want subsidy that indeed in form and in character is subsidy. No subsidy that is given to your cronies. No subsidy that is the GBT subsidy that we see. We want subsidy. But guess what? The government said to the people that we know more than you people. We think what is better is that you don't want subsidy. So you can see why I say that even from that pronouncement, you would agree with me, if you don't, it's all right, that this is not a democracy. There are other condiments that, you know, must be a part, must be a part of the soup before you say that that is a democracy, like the, the illustration I gave about Afang soup. Who makes Afang with bitter leaf? There must be freedom of speech, free speech rather. People must be able to speak. 
and be heard. That's one. The, the legislature must also be free. The judiciary must also be